Hi folks and welcome to Chevron 21. Uh, I'm Time to Shine Homestead. And before we start this video off, I gotta feed the herd here. They're, just, they're bugging me. Jump in, in there so you see some of the herd. I want you to see these rabbits that I haven't shown you since they were babies. They're now five to six pounds. Two of these will be harvested, folks. Uh, one's going to wild edibles because I think they're gonna use in a breed. But yeah, two of these will be harvested very shortly. Just thought I'd give you a look at that. And remember what I was talking about in, in the last video. If the video is going to be on tomatoes, folks, and how to create bigger plants and uh, more fruit. So we're going to go over to the biggest one, folks. I'm just going to show you a little bit of the garden here, folks. There's coming really just the size of bee plants already. I'm like five, six weeks behind everybody. But look at the size of everything. That's coming. But anyway, we're going to go over here and. Uh, Suckers off the bottom. See all these heads are all, all nice and big now. So I'll I'll take these suckers off. There, these heads are coming out are big enough, folks. And you and you're gonna get a bit you get twice the amount of fruit. You're gonna get a big plant. And you know, you can keep doing this through the whole cycle. Like I'll leave these two here because there's more heads coming out. But you should do these to every one of your plants. Make remember a, a tomato is a water-based plant. As much water as you can give it, or food you can give it, it's going to go. But I recommend you, you take all these suckers off, like you start right away when you put them in, create these heads, look. Like, look at all the heads. It's going to be like this, folks. The same as this one here, like, I've already pinched this one a few times. Yeah, there's all kinds of heads coming out, so what? I'll just take that one, and I'll take that one. You don't want to take the two crowns, folks. You don't want to weaken the plant too much. But see, you can see all those heads coming out. And that's, that's one of my tips for today. And yes, I harvested a whole bunch of onions today, folks, because I got a whole bunch of cucumbers going in here called multitasking. But anyways, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, go up to the potato garden here for a second, folks. I'll show you. I usually heal them three times. And you can see everything's coming along great, folks. Tomatoes are like these. I'll be I'll be pinching all these. Like I got lots of tomato plants. I'll be pinching them all today. And here's some new cucumbers. There's a bunch back there too. I'll be going in the new garden. I can't count on the video, so I won't laugh aloud. Look, and here's another tip, folks. I don't really usually grow beets. And you remember they were like this big in the last video? Well, I just decided to hill them like potatoes, and now look at them. Remember these tomato plants were just this big. Look at them now, folks. I think I'm going to heal everything from now on. Maybe that's a good tip, guys. Heal everything and just look. You got the right amount of nitrogen in your soil. You got good soil. I, I think we should heal everything. Peas are over the trollis already. They just put them in a week ago. I got peas in that, that garden already tied. He'll take you over to show you. And steak. Right. Everything's coming along good. Anyways. Yeah, look at the lettuce, folks. I can cut off it already. I'm working hard, but anyways, we'll go give another tip. Oh yeah, and corn likes lots of water, just like tomatoes, and lots of nitrogen. So make sure you have lots of nitrogen in your soil, and lots of water, especially if you're getting hot days. If you can afford, my water bill's 300, I shouldn't have did it, but now I've got a barrel, and I'm using rainwater, so I can give them extra nitrogen. But remember, it's another water-based pet. Lots of heat, and lots of water, and lots of nitrogen. Anyways, now we'll go to the potato garden. I'll show you, I held it a third time. That should be good enough, folks. I usually only held them twice. But, I'll show you, it looks just like a farmer's field. And I still got these tomato things in my hand. Hold up. I'm sorry about that. I'm really tired, folks. I haven't had much sleep, sleep, sleep lately. And you see, I uh, healed them one last time. Well, I'll just deal with my foot this time. They're, they're, everything's coming along here pretty good, folks. I got flowers on some of these potatoes already, so... I'll have to ask Will Grow what kind of potatoes these are because I've never had potatoes flower this early before. But they've been held three times. And yes, you don't really have to water potatoes that much. But I actually had to, folks. It was so dry, the soil was like dust. But you see, everything's coming along really good. These are some of the newest seedlings I put in there coming along good. Beets in here come along good. Turnips are coming in good. Everything's coming pretty good. We'll take you over to the rose plant here. So when I put these corn seedlings in a couple days ago, they were only this big. So what I did, I had some 
Like if you have year old chicken manure and it's like you can crush it up, just sprinkle a little bit in. That's all you need. If you don't have cow, goat, lamb, or anything else, it's just as good. But remember not to use too much. But make sure it's a year old too and it's dry. Because it's dry, it doesn't do any damage. It, it feeds the plants. Well, they're, 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 I don't know where those potato plants came from. This is a new garden. I, I must have peeling or something going there or something. Coming up with the sunflower. By the way, I just noticed that. Anyways, here's my wife's rose plant. I bought her 10 years ago. It, it gets multicolored roses, folks. It, it starts... See, there's an orange one, a pink one, red one, like, and lots of them coming. But I'll, I'll give that a, I'll water, well, I, I already give it lots of rainwater, but I'll put some more manure on that just to get her double the amount of flowers. And I put some wild daisies in here for her, uh, I don't know, three years ago, right in a straight row, and they came up perfectly. Oh, by the way, those are paintbrushes. And people with allergies, those are the enemy. Uh, and each, that they give me a fever, cough, everything. I forgot to pick those out. But anyways, folks, that's going to be most of the video today and my tips. Remember, tomatoes and corn like lots of water. Corn likes lots of nitrogen. By the way, look at that sunflower already, folks. And, uh, and I'm going to give a pointer that Jan Deere told me, folks. Uh... You could, yeah, just use the hay and the chicken manure and just throw it on top. And maybe that'll help with saving on the water bill too. Wish I had known that before I healed everything. But we'll do our way in, folks, and that, that'll be it for today. Oh, we'll show you the big sunflowers here. They always get big here in the corner, folks. Remember I told you three or four years ago I put 30 sucker four, three to four feet down. And you see they're getting pretty large. Look at this. I've never grown a three-headed sunflower off the hop before. I, I don't know what happened. Wild Edible said maybe it split, the seed was split or something, but I don't know. But, and look, I just picked from the strawberries half a bag. Look, they're already back already. All kinds of strawberries. I know my in the last video, my wife was pretty grumpy. But, man, I, she can give me a break sometimes. No reason why she can't pick some strawberries. She's making out like I'm the, I'm the bad guy. I do as much as I can for my wife. I love my wife. She, I think she's just being a crybaby that day. But anyways, we'll do our way in, folks. Mike, while I'm getting... Oh, my, 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 my son will bring you over here and show you this barnhouse plant. I wasn't exaggerating, folks, when I said it gets as wide as five people. It's only June. You see what I did so I don't have to stake it this year? I, I made a walkway for the mint all the way up in the safe to hold this baby in place. Like, it's only June. Look at the size. She's already as wide as three people already, folks. And it's only June. And here's my potato experiment with the big sprout, folks. Yes, you, it doesn't matter how big the sprouts are, folks. And yes, you will get plant on the bottom as well, wild edibles. By the way, see? I don't know how many pounds I get in there. Here's another little trick I'm doing. I already did the grocery store challenge, but it's a success. Anyways, look, potatoes right in pure sand. If people want to know, yes, you can grow them right in pure sand. I don't know how well they do. I've never done it yet before, but that's pure sand. But anyways, we'll do our way in, folks. He'll give me a later. shot of it. I'm gonna go grab the rhubarb first. Oh, oh, show him the pumpkin plant already. Remember how small it was, folks? Well, that's gonna go right up the hill, into the tree. I gotta remove sunflowers, though, but you wait. Uh, I, I'll do the same thing as I did last year. Took up Buddy's property, too, but he, he doesn't care. But anyways, we're gonna weigh this rhubarb in. It's going to flower now, so I don't really want to cut off it too many more times. Let it go to seed, and I'll collect the seed this year, actually, so I can spread them out. And the rhubarb is only five pounds, folks. And a small bag of rock bass for this week is only three pounds, folks. I'll weigh the eggs in for this week. It's only 10 pounds. And I, oh, I gotta grab the onion. Multi harvest, folks. I got all kinds of cucumbers going. I just showed you some over there. I have a whole bunch of cucumbers in here. Because this is a little bit shaded, they're all going in here. So I got a bunch of cucumbers going in here. I got lots of manure in here. I was able to harvest some quick onions real fast. 
and I got lots of onion still in here, lots in here, like cheese, and everything in here. Peppers are coming along good in here. It's and we'll weigh the onions. These will be all be cut up, put in freezer bags for soups, uh, for tacos. All I might leave some in the fridge. I love the greens for tacos. And it is five pounds, folks. That is it. But this will be all harvested today, folks. All put put away in the freezer. Or some left out for tacos. And um, that's gonna that's our video today, folks. Love you all. Stay safe up there. And have a great night.